Yo, this video was nuts, guys. This 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 episode was just wild within itself. Everything was nuts, guys. Uh I I I did not review last week's episode. I'm sorry for that. Um uh, you can see we we're working on somewhere with the squad stuff on the main channel. Go check that out. Um lots of cool projects coming in with this summer. Next episode though, guys, I probably will be doing a live reaction too. I'm going to try and formulate I 100% want to do a live reaction with the next episode since the fight between All Might and One for All, or All for One, hasn't even necessarily started yet because it's kind of an introduction to it within this week's episode, at least one that dropped today. The fight is really going to be going and happening next episode. This episode was basically, how the fuck can we get everybody out of the way so we can let these guys fight? That's, that's the summary of this episode. But you got a sprinkle coated with everything else. I like the recap that did as well, where he screams, No! Like, I, you can feel that, no. And the thing is, too, what I like about these episodes, guys, is as a manga reader, I genuinely feel these episodes. Is that, is that some fake woke shit? Some deep shit? Maybe. But I feel this shit. Like, when Best Genus got his gut ripped open, reminding him of some white beard shit, he'll be all right. When, they, uh, when Grand Turner got punched by a Detroit Smash, Raw in the face, dude. He'll be all right. When fucking all for one uses his uh quirk to force these people open, to force them to use their quirks. First off, all for one's quirk is fucking stupid. I'm gonna talk about it probably in the next week, next episode, because I don't want to do any spoilers. I mean, they kind of went into it in season two where the guy can take this person's quirk and then give it to this person or you can take the quirk from somebody here or just manipulate this quirk and you have a the fuck ton of quirks 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 his quirk is busted as shit they kind of went into it be, i'm assuming there's gonna be a bigger detail into it uh to next episode because like either next week's either the end of that or i think the episode afterwards or probably when they go into a little bit of their backstory and stuff like that and and you know see a little, little bit more about him since he's still very mysterious to a lot of people um, so I'll probably leave all that information about his quirk and getting more into that, like, probably in, like, next episodes, you know, to not spoil people and such like that, but this shit was wild, I mean, everybody played their role and they played it perfectly, I think Deku is a genius, and I think we gotta respect him as such, uh, every time he comes up with a plan, it is a really good plan, my man is a strategist, and it works out well every single time, it's crazy, dude, his plans have yet to fail, you'll see, but... We'll just wait and see until his plans fail, but his plans to get the fail, it's really good, actually. I may devise a plan where they don't have to fight, but they can bunking Bakugo and dip. And I really like this, especially for the animation. That scene was animated so good, dude. Bakugo blows up, and uh, Kirishima's like, yo, come now. And then they go just... It's so fluid. I, I don't even have words. This is why I need to live react to this shit, guys. I don't even have words, dude, with how well they're in and Bones. <laughs> Shout out to Bones, dog. They're doing the damn thing, dog. They are doing the damn thing, animating it really good. I think the studio definitely deserves My Hero. I'm glad no A1 pictures from other shit got My Hero, dog. I'm just glad Bones got it, dog. If it ain't Bones, it's Madhouse. If it ain't Madhouse, you foldable. And if it ain't that, I ain't want it. I ain't want it. So, I'm really glad it was done right. Um... You can see the fear, though, when it comes to everybody, when it comes to All for One. A lot of people compare this fear. There was some something the other day I saw on Twitter, people comparing, I think All for One is on that category now of Madara and Frieza and Meruem when it comes to putting fear into people. Yeah, I get what you were saying, but, like, like the names of those people would scare people versus the presence of All for One would scare people. Like, no one, a lot of people did not know who even All for One was, even existed, like, until he popped now it's a whole different generation you know what i mean of course a lot of people did know but it's a whole different generation now they probably think the past that and stuff like that you know what i mean yet here he is so still a strong villain though the man's got a busted quirk we'll have to see how that goes um ugly fruity dude with big lips so bad with names dude uh, i felt kind of bad for him because all for one uh forcibly uses quirk and it just looks so painful and gross when he digs his claws into people and he forces their quirks into the same thing for Kuragiri with his warp gate. I mean you can also see the impact and the damage that it's done to uh Tomura. We got his first name, we got his first name, 
or well, how should I put this? Look at the name that he actually said at the last episode, or at the last two minutes of it, when he's looking at All Might and he says Nana Shomura, or I think I think that was the name they said Shomura. Uh, I think that's what it was. I want to get this right. Shimura, Shimura. Okay, so a lot of you guys, it'll be it'll be interesting to see because she um, is an important character. So I was a little uh, intrigued when they announced her name. I was like, oh shit, I totally forgot, dude. I totally forgot. Whoa, dude, whoa. They yeah, see, uh, let's just say Tomura and Shimura. Just remember that. I'm just going to say that for now. Just to keep it vague, just remember that. All right? Okay, cool. Awesome. So getting back to this, though, you can see the fear and impact that it had on Shigaraki uh, when he was forcibly taken out of the match. Um, he was saying that, you know, all for one's body may not be able to take this fight and stuff like that, you know, fearing that what if All Might fucks his ass up, you know what I mean? And he's really worried and stuff like that because, again, this is Master. You can see from the flashbacks we get every time when these two have a moment, he saved them. He was a poor dude in the slums and the street just, you know, forgotten. And All for One saved him. And we're gonna see that backstory, just not next episode. I think it'll probably be the episode after that. But you can see from the background, he saved Shigaraki. So he is fucking scared out of his mind. He's worried and he wants to do the most that he can to help out his master. He cares about him. It's like it's like Deku and All Might relationship. Look at look at Shigaraki, like the villain Deku. Just that that's like the best way you can look at him. Even though we still have yet to learn so much about him in the manga. Just kind of look at him like that, you know what I mean? So, uh, that, I, I, I just, again, I just love how majority of this is animated, like, I, I just, I just love it, and I also love to see a lot of people that did not read the manga, I love to see their reactions to all of this stuff too, it's really interesting, um, cause it's definitely a different take, um, than some people who did read the manga for, no it's not me talking above people and stuff like that, it's just interesting, you know what I mean? It's really interesting to see uh, people have different perspectives and stuff like that. How a lot of people thought that Bakugo was going to become a villain. Um, kind of like Sasuke with the Sound 5. And I was like, huh. Like, I, like, unconsciously did not put that two and two together. I just thought to myself, how are they going to save him? You know? But, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. Again, it's not me talking about people just saying, oh, I read the manga, so I know more. Like, no. No. It's just, it's just interesting. It's a different take. You know what I mean? Um, I also really liked as well, um, like I said again, the fluidity of the animation when it came to Deku and the boys having their plan successfully go through. That shit was cool. You can even see Mount Lady as well. She came through. She did her little thing. Like I said, everybody played a role. Uh, Mount Lady did her thing where she stopped a uh, young magic boy um, from running after them and being able to like put them in that little magic ball and kidnap these guys because again like I said they want to turn Bakugo over to their side I mean if they genuinely wanted to kill Bakugo all for one could have killed Bakugo right then and there any one of the League of Villains could have killed Bakugo while he was tied up and restrained and he couldn't use his quirk but you could even see as well a couple episodes ago that they actually let Bakugo go because they wanted him to trust him that's what they wanted because they you were using Bakugo's anger in order to turn him. And you can see as well, society, as well as the people, the public, the media, everyone is also aware of this. And they're putting two and two together. Aizawa is unfortunately taking the blame for all of this, but he's standing up for Bakugo, which is good to his student. I like that relationship. We got to respect Aizawa. I don't care if nigga think he's weird. We accept him. He's cool, all right? Regardless, though, um, it would have, I think it would like... Horikoshi didn't make it that way, obviously, of course, because it just would have been a little obvious, a little cliche. Oh my god, you gotta think about it. At the time that happened to Sasuke, like, I don't, it wasn't done as often as we thought, versus nowadays, where it's like Sasuke was a massive inspiration towards that. That's why so many people compare, like, Shonen's or they compare popular stuff this to insert smaller anime here, because it wasn't done nearly as much before Sasuke. So, I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't done at all. I'm just saying it wasn't done nearly as much because of Sasuke. So that's it's really an interesting take as well. I don't really like to compare shonens, but you know, to kind of contrast and think of where they they go in their own avenues is it's an interesting topic of conversation. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but all my like I said, again, even uh, Baka was aware of it. Everyone was just basically aware of it. He couldn't really go all out 
in this fight against all one because I'm we're just gonna say all one, fuck it. All one, all for one, fuck it. He didn't really go all out because Bakugo was around. If he were to go all out, Bakugo would probably get hurt due to the aftermath. Just him being around. That's how powerful All Might is. Be aware of that. Even All for One is aware of this. That's how powerful All Might is. So, he couldn't really, you know, pop off and do what he wanted to do because, like I said again, Bakugo was in the way. And he didn't give a shit about the villains of Bakugo in the way Bakugo was as well. So, that's why Deku's plan was perfect. Even Deku was aware of this. Deku's such a strategist, man. He's so smart. This shit was hyped. Though. I was off my ass, off my chair watching this shit. This shit was so hyped, dude. Man, next episode's gonna be great. Nana Shimmer's name's actually been announced. The previous successor of All for... Or, or One for All. So, she was a person that had One for All literally before All Might. That's what he's saying. He's not saying that this is the initial... Uh... The initial like successor of uh, one for all. He's just saying that this is the person that had it before All Might. Because again, a lot of people tend to forget and don't remember that All Might is not the person that had it first. So a lot of people had it before him. That who's the most new to it. So this is the person that had it previously. Her name has actually been announced. She's actually been shown even in the opening. So. A lot of people were not aware of this. I was getting bombarded with my tweets today. A lot of people not being aware of that. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you thought down in the comments down below about all this junk and not nonsense and stuff like that. I will probably try to do a live reaction. Keyword try. So don't expect one. But kind of expect one. Try. I'm going to try to do one depending if they claim the video or not. Or if I can get away with it or not. Or safely go buy it. I know some of my friends do it. So I'm going to try and do it my own way. We'll see how that goes, guys. Hit that like button down below if you're, subscribed, if you're excited and you love this episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. With that, I'll see you guys next time.